So Lisa Gaming is back. You see, there's actually a new one. There's a new Lisa Gaming on Roblox. It's my worst nightmares come to life. No, I'm actually talking about this person right here. Uwu Cute Single. 3.37 million subscribers. And well, anyway, Uwu Cute Single. I'm <laughs> gonna feel weird saying that throughout this video. They're actually a Roblox TikToker that's moved over to YouTube. They make a bunch of short form content, as you can see on the screen. Let's see what this is Did here. you know you can't feel your tongue when you smile? <laughs> Got you. Oh, look how cute you are smiling. Smile more, silly. It looks good on you. Now, those videos are a little bit cringy, but let's find out exactly what's gotten them in trouble. It all started with this YouTube video here by Schlepp called Roblox YouTuber Promotes Gambling to Kids Uwu Cute Single. Here we go. Hey guys, today we have some pretty crazy news. Okay. A Roblox YouTuber with 3 million subscribers that literally makes videos for kids is promoting an online Roblox gambling site. Yeah, this is really, really horrible. That's not Real good. Real quick, guys, this is a new channel. Make sure you're subbed. I'm trying to get 1K by the end of the month. Before okay. we even get into the details of like what they actually promoted, let's go over the type of content they make. Very first video I saw of her was a Peppa Pig Roblox video. Now, do I really even need to say more about the audience that watches these videos? I mean, it is TikTok. You know, they came from TikTok. It, it, it's kind of expected, to be fair. Like, most of her videos are about how to get infinite Robux. And by the way, they are all TikTok videos. So this girl with an extremely impressionable audience decides to make that dollar bill, that juicy change, to expose her audience primarily of children to gambling. Yeah. That is honestly one of the most deplorable things you can do as a content creator. Now, I want to pause and actually look at the screenshot. Popular Roblox YouTuber Uwu Cute Single with over 3 million plus subscribers has begun advertising Blocks Flip, the Roblox gambling website to her audience of children within the age range of around 8 to 13 years old. So I found one of the shorts where she actually promotes the gambling website. Let's check it out. Here it is. I assume this is one of many. Copy my art and I will give you Robux. Oh okay. my god, finally I can have Robux. If I will make it bad, she won't give me Robux, so I need to make it perfect. Just trust the process, it will look good. So they're drawing the Robux logo, and there it is right there. It's a little pop-up. It says Blocks Flip. Now, this pop-up actually only shows up for a few seconds, and then it disappears. I imagine they just throw it into a lot of videos, and they get paid for it. Pretty much like a sponsored deal. Well, I've actually already made videos about this website before, but for the people that haven't seen those, what exactly is Blocks Flip? So if we Google it, it actually shows up right here. Blocks Flip is the first Robux game site. Win Robux, Free Robux, Crash Popular, Roulette. Yeah, that's right. Blocks Flip is a Robux. Robux gambling website. Now, before you get any ideas, number one, it's illegal. Like, you'll actually go to jail. More on that in a bit. Number two, it's against the Roblox Terms of Service. You will get your account deleted. And well, unfortunately, they're actually pretty popular. You can see they have 87.9 thousand followers on Twitter. And there's also a bunch of YouTube videos about the website. How to make profit on Blocks Flip. I turned $10,000 into gambling $150,000. Now, I'm not actually going to visit the site and show you for obvious reasons. Luckily, there is a Roblox YouTuber crazy enough to do that. So the guy's name is actually uh, Sketch. You may have heard of him before. Let's see what he discovered on the website. I found the website. There's a bunch of fake people in the chat. It says there's 5,000 people online. There's not. There's not 5,000 people online. These are all fake people. Boom. Probably. There's the login button. What do they want you to do? What's your Roblox username? Uh, I'm not falling for it. But hey, we can sit here. We can watch and see this fake gambling happen in real time. Oh, here's the rocket. It's going up, guys. It's gonna go up. Oh, the dopamine's, the dopamine's going. Look at Oh, our Roblox. The rocket explodes or else you'll lose all your Robux. They're making so much money, guys. Look at all these people making money. Wow, that guy just got 24 million Robux. Wow. This is, bad. This is all fake scam website. And you have slots, which is just gambling. Now, as you might expect, there's been a pretty big public outcry over this, which has led to UUQ single making a response video. Now, I'm not going to play the audio. It's copyrighted. But essentially, she says in this TikTok or in this YouTube short that the reason why she promotes this website is because she uses the money to help people people overseas more specifically to help starving children in africa yeah that's that's what's in the tiktok now obviously i don't know for sure if she uses the money for that or not she probably doesn't but whether she does or not obviously it's still kind of illegal if you rob a bank and then give all the money to a homeless person guess what you're still going to jail so here's what i did i dm'd her on twitter i said hey are you willing to talk about the blocks flip situation i have a few questions she responded with 
hello, sir. And then I basically asked her some questions like how did Block Split contact you? What was the process like? Are you aware that it's gambling and it's illegal? Anyway, she responded and said, I've heard a lot about Block Split ads from friends or from Robloxers in TikTok who inserted small excerpts of Block Split ads. After that, I applied. I was instantly accepted. She kept going and says, I don't perceive Block Split as a casino in general because people play like Robux and it's not so scary. But if I just insert an advertisement into my video, the person himself must realize what he is going for and what it can lead to. And the Blocks Flip itself indicated on its website that this is not a gambling site. All of the screenshots will be attached down below. Also, when you log onto the site, you're asked if you're 18 years old, so everything is fair. Now, here's actually the screenshot that she attached. It says, we're not a gambling service. We do not take or place illegal bets, and we do not recommend or encourage illegal gambling. Now, if I rob a bank dressed as a nun, guess what? I'm still a bank robber. So whether they have this posted on their website or not, it doesn't matter. They're still a casino. They're still a gambling website. That's just kind of how it works. She also mentioned that the website asks if you're over 18, which it very well may do that. But as you all know, everyone lies about their age on the internet. I did it as a kid. You guys probably do it. Everyone I know has done it at some point. There's nothing stopping an eight-year-old from going on this website, saying he's 21 years old, and then gambling all of his money. Anyway, uwu cute single. Still feels really weird saying that out loud. She ended by saying, all I want to say is that the situation is funny and I really enjoy the attention around me. I kind of love my haters. Does that sound familiar to you guys? Well, it certainly does to her because she made a tweet that says, I'm the new Lisa Gaming of Roblox. Oh dear God, what have we done? Now, all of this actually leads into a much bigger problem. Here's another tweet by Roblox Trading News that actually says, just interviewed a 14 year old who's been paid over $2,000 in order to promote Blocks Flip on their TikTok. And if you go on TikTok and look up Roblox Blog Split, you'll actually see a bunch of TikToks from a bunch of different creators that have a lot of views. Check this out. 470,000, 1.2 million, 1.1 million, and it just keeps going and going and going. Let's go and watch one of these TikToks. I just got called out by a Roblox YouTuber. Sketch. Blog Split. I was literally able to get these two limited items playing this game. Okay, that's a red flag. I mean, that's actually the same sketch video we watched earlier in this video where he visited the website. Immediately. Literally just a fake account. But no, this is guy seems like he's actually a legit creator. He makes a lot of TikTok. If I haven't already made it abundantly obvious, this is not a site you want to go to. This is not a site you want to put any of your information into. Before this video starts, no hate to him and do not send any hate to him whatsoever. And in the video he uploaded, it features predominantly me. And he keeps stating that I sponsored a Roblox scam. And entirely, it is not a scam. And Sketch did not do enough research to prove this. And his only real reasoning of why it's a scam is that the website looks fake, which is not really a good enough reasoning. Now, I'm not going to watch this entire TikTok, but just like Sketch showed in his video there, this is an actual tech talker. This guy gets like 2.8 million views, 1 million views, 1.6 million. So what Blocks Flip is doing here is they're reaching out to these tech talkers, especially the younger ones that may not know any better, that may not know that child gambling is uh, one, illegal, two, highly immoral, three, illegal, I can go on. And Blocks Flip is pretty much paying these tech talkers thousands and thousands of dollars. Now, obviously, I don't know if this guy is sponsored by Blocks Flip or not, considering he made an entire tech talk defending it, and he's also got links in his bio to it, I would probably assume so, which means that these creators are either A, oblivious to the fact that it is illegal and it is child gambling, or number two, probably the worst of the two options, they just don't care, which then leads back to this here. Thinking about it, it's honestly insane how Roblox goes out of their way to sue Ruben Sim, yet hasn't done anything to prohibit Roblox gambling sites for the past two years. And well, that's actually something I want to talk about, because I did a little bit of digging, and how these websites work, especially Blocks Flip, it's actually kind of smart. From how I understand it, Roblox can't do anything about it. Most of these websites actually run and operate out of other countries. They don't run out of the United States or Canada or the UK. They run out of countries where child gambling and gambling laws just don't exist. So whenever Roblox sends them a letter that says, hey, you can't do this, this is illegal, well, they're in a country where it doesn't matter, so nothing happens and these websites stay up. Well, as for the TikTokers and content creators that get sponsored by websites like this, there's really not much that we can do. I mean, you can call these people out, but at the end of the day, they're getting paid thousands of dollars to do it, so they're probably not going to stop. My only hope is Roblox steps in, maybe sends them like a cease and desist letter, maybe bans them from Roblox. I mean, there's a lot of options there. Really, it just comes down to Roblox doing something. So yeah, that's it. That's the situation. That's uwu cute single. That's the new Lisa Gaming of Roblox. And that's the situation with Blocks Flip. Have a great day. Ooh.